Yo, what's going on YouTube? I am recording this at a clean 4.44 a.m. on a March 4th, 2021. Around 99 days away from the release of the newest Guilty Gear because like the rest of you, I am down bad because Guilty Gear Strive has been pushed back to June 11th. And while we all know that is the correct decision, we all do know that, right? Don't act like you don't know that, please. Arxis has said they are polishing online lobbies and server stability, right? Which is exactly the issues that need to be addressed besides Potemkin doing 70% of my life for three hits. But that's beside the point. You know, I, I really do hope that the lobby system is improved just to make it a smoother process, right? Obviously, also, I want rematch to be added to the online lobbies as well. But besides that, I am not too discouraged regarding the actual whole lobby system at this point. If they can get a smooth experience, then hopefully the floor system can work out properly and we can have it actually match players up with similar skill and hopefully that will provide players with something that's very vital i think to improving in fighting games which is constantly playing against someone that's either your skill level or slightly above your skill level i think that is super important to improving in fighting games and having fun improving in fighting games at the same time so hopefully that system all works out and again they were hammered on that pre-order day right it wasn't even the open beta day that the servers were just hammered and shut down it was the pre-order beta day so considering that i'm sure they are doing whatever they can to stabilize those servers because on launch the fighting game community and it seems like the gaming community in general is rabid for a fighting game with great net code that looks amazing and i mean strive fits both of those bills so i think they should expect a huge influx of players on launch on both pc and playstation and i think at this point they are expecting that so they're doing whatever they can to make sure that launch day goes as smooth as possible because we all know how important first impressions are so moving on from that there's been a lot of like gameplay versus netcode discussion recently where it's like oh do you really love guilty gear strive or you just love the netcode yada yada but i gotta tell you man at the end of the day, even when I wasn't having fun uh, playing against Potemkin or Ram Lethal or whatever the hell I was doing while I was trying to figure out Zato, I still constantly wanted to play even just in training mode and still wanted to play online even when I was struggling in the matchups because the gameplay really still brought me in, man. I still wanted to learn the latest iteration of Zato, my favorite fighting game character across all fighting games, period. So as much as the netcode is great and I want to keep playing because I do have the privilege of playing people like OB Assassin in the UK or Haitani in Japan or Leffen in Sweden or wherever, you know what I'm saying? In addition to having that privilege, the gameplay as well is what really is drawing me in as it is, I think, for a lot of people uh, that love Guilty Gear and love fighting games in general. That's kind of the good news, right? Now, the bad news is we got to wait. And I was thinking about what am I going to do in the meantime uh, to... You know entertain myself when it comes to gaming or otherwise to scratch that guilty gear itch i definitely think i'm going to be playing a lot of plus r right guilty gear plus r of course has great net code as well rollback has been implemented in the steam version and it also just got a great update with like a bunch of training mode features and what's even more phenomenal is the replay system the replay system in plus r now is incredible because you can literally take over a moment in the replay and then play from that moment and try out different scenarios to see what better solutions you can come up with given that scenario and then apply it to your future matches it truly is uh, incredible when it comes to playing plus r i mainly play holy order soul right now and i'm thinking about learning zappa or maybe another character because i'm getting pretty used to holy order soul but of course i'm a zato main right eddie in that game and Whenever I see Eddie, I want to play him so bad, whether it be in Plus R or whatever game, and I see like people post clips of Eddie and Plus R, and I never really learned any type of advanced stuff with Eddie and Plus R, right? I really have just carried over my fundamentals that I learned in Exert to him in Plus R, and I really want to learn the advanced stuff in Plus R, but it scares me so dearly uh, when it comes to the muscle memory, right? I don't want to mess up my muscle memory for the character in Strive after having unlearned a bunch of muscle memory during the beta. So that's kind of scaring me a little bit. But yeah, that's my plan in the meantime to fill the void of no Guilty Gear till June 11th is to pretty much play some more plus R. But what I want to know from y'all is what are you going to do to fill the void until Guilty Gear Strive launches? Are you going to be playing some more plus R? Or are you going to be like me and kind of give in to playing your main character that it crosses over from both games and just kind of ruin your muscle memory? Or are you too scared of that? Are you going to be like how I am right now and 
kind of stay away from your main and play like a secondary, like I'm playing Holy Order Soul instead of Eddie, so I don't really kind of mess up my muscle memory, even though I'm probably going to give in. You're going to be playing something else, or are you going to be playing uh, another old game like Majin Obama's telling you to do? Are you going to be playing some other rollback game now that you've been exposed to great netcode? Are you going to be looking up the Guilty Gear lore at Wooly Versus, like I was saying? Let me know, man. Or what are you just going to be doing in general, playing Street Fighter, Tekken, whatever it is. And please uh, like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. It really helps me gauge what people are digging uh, coming out of this channel. Uh, until next time, though, be good to each other and peace out.